Welcome back to the Backtrader series. This is your host Ali, and in today's video, we're going to continue our discussion on the data feed component of Backtrader. In the previous video, we learned how to parse data from different sources using different Backtrader feeds feed standards. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to add the parse data into the Cerebro. Loading the data is pretty simple. In fact, there are several methods for loading data, and each one of them has a unique case. For general purpose, use add data method. If you have a tick data and you want the, your analysis to be done on a different time frame, then resample data method is your is your method. Uh, replay data is the market replay mo mo mode uh, to be to be used basically when you like let's say you have one minute data or a tick data, but your algo runs on daily bars, and you want to see how your algo behaves when, in, a, in a way similar to how, to how to the real life trading beha behavior. Rollover data is to be used when you have futures data with expiry dates. You can add the rollover effect to, on this data. Add filter is simply that it simply change the bar type, it's, and it's highly customizable in a way where you can test your strategy on Renko bars, for example. Basically, add data and resample data are the most commonly used methods, so we'll focus on those two in the introduction. And hopefully, as we get comf comfortable with Backtrader, we will introduce the other methods later on. Um, Regarding multiple data, loading multiple data is also possible. The Cerebro instance or the brain can handle can handle multiple inputs, even the same, even even like for example, euro dollar uh, minute data, minute bars with the multiple time frames. Like say you want to test your strategy on, or you have a strategy that takes the minutes, the, the the one day, the daily moving average, along with the cross of the one minute moving average, for example. You can do you can do that using the Cerebro. Simply like simply add the data to for example, uh, Cerebro add data 1, which is the daily candle, then Cerebro add data 2, data 2, which is the minute candles, for example. And it's time to code. First of all, we need to import Backtrader. Backtrader, import Backtrader as BT, um, import Yahoo Finance, Y Finance as YF, because we're going to need some data. Um, first of all, let us load the Tesla daily and hourly bars from Y Finance, Yahoo Finance. What we're gonna do is that TSLA underscore daily equal YF dot download ticker name which is TSLA um, start we go, we're gonna start at let's say by 2021 Dash one dash zero one. Okay, DSLA underscore hourly. Sorry about that. Equal YF dot download. Also, the DSLA sticker. Also, we're gonna start twenty twenty one to one dash zero one. All right, we got the Tesla underscore daily. Let's see how it behaves. Dot info, and we got the Tesla underscore hourly info. We got the info for the for both data frames. As you can see, the data column or the date time and date time is the index in both uh, in both pandas data frames. Now it's time to parse them. Basically, let us parse them as we learned in the previous lecture. Parse the data into backtrader format. To parse them, we're going to need the feeds uh, standards or the feeds component from backtrader. Um, let's call it the Tesla daily underscore parsed equal bt.feeds dot which is and this what we're going to do is the what we are using right now is the pandas data so the standard for this is typically the pandas data data name as we learned previously data name equal tsla underscore daily all right um the open is at column zero oh basically we forgot the date time date time is at column uh, it's basically it's the index so we can specify it as none or basically as, as the index um open is zero high is one open high low is equal at column 2 close we're going to use the adjusted close which is at column 4 volume 
is at column 5, sorry. Open interest does not exist, we're gonna name it as none. Or we can use both, either none or minus one. Minus one means that the back trader, the pandas data will look for the open interest in the table. Uh, none, it means that it does not exist. We parsed the daily candles. Now it's time to parse the hourly ones. Hourly parsed Tesla underscore hourly underscore parsed equal BT dot feeds. Sorry, that's pandas data. And I think we can copy that one with a few modifications because both of them are the same basically. Data name is Tesla, uh, TSLA underscore hourly date name that date time is none open high low close open interest is none what we're and again or what we're going to add in here is the time frame which is which is to tell back trader that this belongs to an hourly or basically belongs to the minutes time frame uh, bt dot time frame it's better to do that by the way because it's let me check if they have hours. Oh, I don't think they have hours, no. Minutes. It's better to use the time frame, basically, on lower intraday data, uh, because it makes our life easier when we're trying to resample the data. And voila. As we learned from the previous, or from the introductory video, uh, basically to add, or basically to add, to run any strategy or to add any data to, to the to the backtester, we need to instantiate Cerebro. Cerebro is the brain, or the event organizer, as we call it, uh, event orchestrator for the backtester, for backtrader. Uh, basically, add data for now. To add data, as we said, we need to instantiate Cerebro. Cerebro is equal to bt dot Cerebro with a capital C. We got Cerebro right now. Cerebro dot add data. Uh, we're going to add the parsed daily data for now tesla underscore daily underscore parsed and voila we got the memory location for the parsed data let us try um by the way uh, what i'm try what i'm gonna type right now or what i'm gonna do right now isn't that, that it's actually like i'm trying to skip forward few lectures of uh, skip few lectures forward uh, you're not obliged to understand what's going on i'm just trying to plot it right now so don't worry about anything right now don't worry about oh, sorry we're gonna learn everything from now we're gonna learn them later on but don't worry about them for now let's run the strategy an empty strategy basically and plot it as you can see this is the daily one day for uh, cerebro or for uh, tesla tesla stock let us try to add the hourly data and resample it into daily data and see what will happen. Okay, mark down. Let's add a new line basically. Uh, and this one, I'm gonna try to reinstantiate Cerebro again because, as we learned in the previous slides, basically, if I try to add data or resample data or any data loading method into the same instance it will load two data type or basically it will load two datas into the same Cerebro engine uh, so I'm gonna load it from scratch Cerebro so that we have two datas so that we have a, f a free Cerebro or an empty one um, let us try to basically or you know what let's try to add both of them TSLA underscore daily parsed and see what will happen cerebro dot add as we said earlier we can to add multiple datas we need to add them twice hourly parsed and let's see what will happen let me copy this one instead of writing it from scratch Well, voila. As you can see, um, we have them both as datas into the Cerebro. Uh, we're going to learn later on in the strategy development how we can utilize multiple datas or utilize several time frames to, in our favor or in our strategies. 
Now let us try to resample some data. We're gonna use the Tesla. Let's load it again. We have the par daily parse data and the hourly parse data. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna resample the hourly data into a weekly one so that we can see, we can oversample it basically. Um, to do so, I'm gonna instantiate Cerebro all over again because I think we lost the last one. bt.cerebro Cerebro dot resample what we're gonna resample is data name is equal to tsla which is the hourly parsed data uh, we're gonna name we're, we we need to use the time frame we want to use the time frame equal to pt dot time frame dot um, let's use the days basically Compression is how you compress the bars, basically. Um, let's say you have an hour or 24 hours, 24 candles, basically. Each candle is one hour, and you want to compress them into a daily one. So you compress 24 hours into a day. Suppose that you have, like, basically uh, an hourly candles, and you want to compress them into weekly. You can use days and compress the days into five, five business days, basically. And you can you, you can always use like time frame weeks and with a compression of one. But in our case, I'm gonna try to do it with days and the compression of five. And we have the cerebro dot run. Someone forgot to turn off his phone. Cerebro dot run. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Cerebro dot run. Sorry, my bad. Basically, we have it running. We have it ready. Um, let's also try to basically let's try to plot it. In order to plot it, we're going to use the same method over here. Don't worry about that right now. You don't need to understand what I'm typing right now for the plotting mechanism. And as you can see, we have it oversampled. Let us try to add the daily and see how our basically our cerebro have worked or basically try to uh, to see how multiple time frames can work cerebro i uh, actually on purpose tried to reinstantiate cerebro all over again because if we added the same data it will it will it will cause a mess cerebro dot add data what we're gonna add is the tesla underscore daily parsed uh, and add data, cerebro run, cerebro plot. Here we go. As you can see that there is a difference actually between the weekly and the daily because the daily has more noise compared to the daily closes.